Everything that I say during this. And we're back with is... Earthbound, episode 38, and. <laughs> Pure gold. No. Smash the patriarchy? Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. He Let's kept saying it off mold. camera, and I wanted him to say it on camera because I'm he's such a I'm truly the third strongest master of this whole he... like power of being. You're a master yeah. disaster. You're going to do it. Wait. Oh my. We don't have enough PP to do this. Well, maybe we do. We got all the PP you'll need, buddy. Okay. What do we do? What did you say? We're to smash the mole patriarchy? Yeah. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. That's exactly what I said. That's because you're a special boy. You know, maybe we could knock him out in one hit. Maybe these guys aren't so tough after all. So between episodes, I showed Anthony the opening to the 90s Spider-Man cartoon. Uh, well, we talked over a lot of it, but it is uh, lots of cheesy guitars. It, hey, it is awesome. It is rocking. How dare you? It's it's rocking in the same way that like the Pokemon theme song is rocking. All right, but this one is a little cooler. But once you get to the actual show, like just beautifully orchestrated music, like there's trumpets and strings, and it's oh yeah, it's it's the real deal. It's the real McCoy. <laughs> we killed all the moles at this point. I'm pretty sure. Hey, you got your caramel. I don't know actually. Because this? we've died so many times in this cave, it feels like we've been here forever. Okay, uh, an insult taken. It's not you. It's <laughs> it's, it's me. <laughs> it's, um, well, I should. I want, I want to use it on Jeff because I want Jeff to know magic. But uh, Jeff will never uh, know magic. He was huh. Nesser Paula. Paula has more, but Paula is like our tank. She's our magic magician tank. Uh, I've been. I feel like Ness is always running out. I've been dying First. all day. And Paula can draw, so I'm going to spend it on Ness. Okay. Since I've been uh, doing computer work all day, I've, I haven't gotten to it, but I've been dying all day to do... Go Whoa! the other way! There's no there's no escape! Well, you got the bear. But I've been dying all day to play Pokemon Crystal version again. <laughs> like, um, really bad. Is that the... Um, is that the red gold... For the, the gold silver era game? Yes. Okay. It is cr Crystal is the one where they just added some bonus content to it. I never played Crystal. What what is in it? Mm, what do you mean? <laughs> like what what's the bonus content? Like what's different in it? Well there's a storyline chasing Sweet Coon. I didn't know that. Yeah, well isn't there always a storyline chasing some dog or You can get, you can get Lugia and Ho oh um, in the so there's a version for the 3DS, so you can port Pokemon over to the new games. Okay. Yeah, and um, at the end of the game, after you beat everything, you can actually get Celebi from that shrine in the forest. Huh. Yeah, you just show up and you you fight him. Well, I feel like I was just halfway way to a connection and not good playing RPGs. Well, spoilers. You don't have to <laughs> this, anymore. This series does not end well. Well, okay. The problem is, back in the day when we were playing, you couldn't really get him. You could not get Celebi back then, just because there was an event and it was exclusive to Japan, so now that they re-released it for the 3DS, they just put it in. Because it really wasn't fair. You know? Oh, come on! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? So I found something horrible out about this game, but we're really lucky because we actually have a, a digital copy, you know, on our... Uh... Is it possible to get stuck permanently? Well, okay. Uh, people need to know that we're playing this on the Super Nintendo Mini, first of all. That's important. Oh no, they killed my teddy bear! It's better than Paula. Well, you're right, but it's so soon. <laughs> Again, better than Paula, but... So we're That's... playing this on the Super Nintendo Mini. Pile of fluff. And I found out why the cartridges are worth so much money. The, like the actual real cartridges of Earthbound? Yes. One, because they're vintage and they're really cool, but Earthbound has something in its code that if you try to pirate it, the game will actually just reject you. What do you mean? It'll spawn, like, it'll be fine at first, but once you get, like, a quarter way through the game, maybe halfway, there's enemies everywhere. There's just <laughs> hordes of them to prevent piracy, so it's almost unplayable. That sounds like one of those urban legend things. Nah, my buddy has done it, and I don't want to name him. But well, that's exactly what you would say. I'll if tell you off legend. camera. Okay, okay. But isn't that wild? That's why we try not to emulate things on our channel for reasons like that specifically. Well, didn't you like purchase this somehow? Well, it's on that. It's on the Super Nintendo Mini. Which is the thing that you bought in the game? Yes, with it is a Nintendo licensed thing. So Nintendo okayed the re-release of this game 
on this console. Okay, so so this is a legitimate operation here. Mm -hmm. in another phase. It is on the up and up. So it's on the level. Those ways it should I really hope they make a GameCube mini though. GameCube Imagine. Mini. Yeah, but look how cute it would be if it was like as small as that. Yeah. You still have to fit all those ports in there. Well, look, look. See how small that is? It was like that size. The Super Nintendo, uh, like well, that size. The yeah. PS One almost. It wouldn't have to be as tall because it would have to read It'd be like this big. It'd be yeah. like Rubik's Cube size. It'd be so cute. There's still another rope. <laughs> you probably just really screwed yourself by doing did. that. Okay. Uh, now it's a bug. Whatever. We'll run. Ah! <laughs> and the rope is coming. You could have just had a rope. I could have just had a rope. But I could have kept my skip sand. Oh, look at that. There's a spam risk calling me from Wisconsin, nonetheless. We don't have enough uh, magic to make it through this. This is the problem. Oh my, oh my. This will continue this. Oh my, oh my. What are this? Hot damn, Ness. Oh boy. We'll watch that later. What, you can't watch another show during our show. Well, no, my buddy sent me something and said this is depressed as fuck. <laughs> Forgive his grammar, I don't know what his brain is. But it was like a stop motion of like a rabbit. Oh no. Yeah. And it was like a like a mockumentary. So the rabbit was doing like a talking head with like a clicker, like a clickboard with a a slate, that's the word I was looking for. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's just fun that you sent me that because I just redid my reel today. <laughs> and you will never see it. Ha <laughs> ha. Because you'll it's never it's know my real name, you fools. It's unfortunate to do this. We might have to use... They, they know I'm Mike, but they don't, you know, they wouldn't know where to look for my stuff, so that's... <laughs> uh, well, I'm not gonna say it. Unless they try. We might have to... Even a little bit, but... Use our cup of life noodles to, uh, fix the poison problem. Uh, or let Ness die on our way out of here. Yeah. By the way, poison hits you hard, and even when you're not walking, it's not like Pokemon. Oh yeah, that did, it's really fast. It's like 10 damage per step or second or, see look. It's oh, it even when I'm moving. Can't uh, Paula heal you? No, cause she doesn't have- See look, yeah. you're critical. And if you die, isn't it over over? Oh, if Ness dies? I think so, right? Oh, that's a good point. Yes, you just usually the last to get killed. He has so much HP, it's absurd. And this is why, okay. It's that backpack. I'm not happy, but we'll do it. Um, this better work. It takes all the hits for him. I'm pretty sure that... Wait, actually, we should make sure using the um, Reviver Friend who's unconscious. In addition, it also works well on Poison. Yeah, okay, that's what that. Right, so the reason I was talking about strong. Pokemon Crystal is because I was watching this YouTuber who goes by the name uh, of and Diamond Eyes, Small Ant. Or, I guess he streams mostly on Twitch, but he's putting his stuff on YouTube a lot. And he was doing a Pokemon Crystal run-through uh, that was modified. So every time you beat a trainer, your entire party is replaced by the party of the trainer you defeated. Oh. So, like, you come out with your starter Pokemon and defeat Youngster Joey or whatever, and all of a sudden you just have a Rattata. Yeah. <laughs> and then you beat the next guy and you have his Rattata. And then you you work your way down, you beat all these bug Pokemon, and then all of a sudden you're at the flying gym and you're screwed. <laughs> That seems almost unplayable. Okay. No, it gets easier as time goes on. It wasn't as bad as the one where he was not allowed to heal at Pokemon centers. Or use computers. He was only allowed to use items. So once your, like, moves ran out, that was it. That seems, like, unfun. Like, really frustrating. Well, a lot of people enjoy really frustrating when it's not their problem. <laughs> as evidenced by his, like, oh, million well, followers or whatever. Well, I wrote it. <laughs> Well, I don't know. He just seems like a pretty cool guy. People should check him out, too. I don't know. What have you been doing our YouTube check-in here? Uh, mostly this. And, uh, I, I haven't, uh... I have actually started watching our stuff. It's not too bad, <laughs> <laughs> believe it or not. Well, you it's all right. I can't spend the whole show talking about the show. Well, yeah, the meta, you can't do that. <laughs> I was asking you what you watch outside of this. Outside of this? Well, I've been watching Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, but apparently not as frequently as you because I'm behind. I watch it the minute I can. 
Well, you texted me at uh, midnight on Monday. Yeah, and I looked to say, at... basically, like, like, you watched it live on TV. Like, you're no, no, no. Uh, a boomer. That was the one... Well, it's kind of fun to do that, though, when you can watch something on TV. So... I haven't done that since... I do that with... The series um... finale of The Good Place, which is a show that I cared about deeply. I do that with Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, and I do that with the, the new show, uh, Lo Superman and Lois. Hmm. Because it's shot pretty well and it's different because it's, you know, them married already raising their, like, two 16-year-old sons who may or may not have powers like Superman, <laughs> which is kind of cool. Is that a, it's like a CW show? Of course it? it is. It sure sounds like it. A... Well, everything's a CW show. It's silly. How do you leave? No. 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 That was a tapeworm. Oh, no, you we're, didn't go far enough. We're going to have to do this. Why do you do these things to yourself? I... It's just... It's... Often inevitable. Yeah, that's right. It won't be very much of a These guys are too tough. Right? 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 The Come other on. thing... What did he do to you? He's a rope, so he tied me up. Next question. Seriously? <laughs> yes! Literally. That's funny. Um, the other show I was watching on HBO was called Made for Love. It's one of their current running shows, and it's, um... I bet it's this. This looks like it's the way out. The mom from How I Met Your Mother, or whatever her name is, who was also in Palm Springs. Right. Forgive right. me, I just can't remember the actress's name. It's Kristen... It, it's something... Yeah, Christine... Christine. Yeah, I think that's it, actually. That's how it's spelled. I don't know if it's how it's pronounced. But, uh, I just she... Read things on the internet. She marries this rich guy, and he, like puts this chip in her head and doesn't tell her we're in trouble now and all of a sudden she finds out that he can see and hear everything that she sees and thinks and he was supposed to do it too but he didn't oh, terrifying so effectively she wants a divorce and he won't let her so that's basically the way sh the show's going it's kind of cool and finally like everybody else Sarah and I have been glued to the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. We miss WandaVision. <laughs> I miss WandaVision too. It was really fun. Well, there's just it something the about way. that actress. She's just got this magnetic personality. <laughs> Same with the guy who plays Vision. They're, they're just really cool really people. Yeah. They seem really cool in real life too. Like, I've watched interviews with them. Oh, I haven't. <laughs> they're just really cool people. You know, cool until proven shitty. That's true. Celebrities are not your friends. Well, you know, they're... they're. What's the wording I want to put this? They put on a persona for everybody, you know? They're, they're figureheads, effectively. Of the movie industry. For certain groupings of movies, certain genres. I sure hope this is where it's supposed to be going. Like, Bruce Willis is kind of, like, almost representative of action movies. Because he was just in all of them for so long. Like, once anyone's in, we should, if we're, if we're gonna get poisoned and die, you have to do nothing, okay? Well... <laughs> yeah, we, we've gotta... It's Jeff's problem. Oh, wait, it's Jeff's problem. <laughs> well, maybe Ness could just do enough damage. Um, I like how you can still spy on him. <laughs> well, you don't have to do anything to spy. That's pretty weird that you could still do that. Keep your eyes open. You're able to freeze. Get some paralysis. Well, Paula is dead. Actually, she's unconscious. She's not Jeff's dead. basically dead. Jeff Excuse is me. a drone at this point. Yeah, even he's his eyes look straight drone. out. <laughs> he's walking. Look, he's not really moving much. I I noticed that too. Sliding. It looks like he's sliding. <laughs> I think you're going the oh, way. Oh, Ness out. is taking every Oh, step. that guy. Yeah, we have to talk to him, don't we? About the moles. We gotta talk to somebody about See? the moles. See that guy? Oh, that's that's so, the place. Yeah, you okay. go down. I think maybe you gotta talk to him. All right, we have to survive. One more snake battle. Why? Maybe. All of a sudden, you'd end up in town, and then people would get to see the desert. <laughs> in town, and then we just walk that's, through the entrance. Well, that's fine. We just have to. Oh, I see. Mean. Yeah, there's, there's no. You like choose life. <laughs> Whatever. This is a shortcut. At least it keeps beating up on Jeff. To quote Palm Springs, maybe kill us one more time so we can avoid the traffic. <laughs> <laughs> you really do have that fresh in your mind. I've seen it so much. 
J.K. Simmons is. That's in actually it. really applicable to this situation. <laughs> J.K. Simmons is in it. How could you not want to watch it? He's like the best actor. Right. I had no idea how good he was until I've seen him. Like, no, a dozen that was an unforced times. error. That was an unforced error. You're fine. I don't remember if we're supposed to go up or not. Maybe not. Maybe we have to go through there. Did Crap. you know that the highest rated superhero movie in the world is Spider-Man He gets Spider to go Man twice because he went for the back and now Ness is going to get killed. Did you know that? Oh jeez. Spider-Man, the highest grossing superhero movie of all time still is Spider-Man 3. Because worldwide. Because worldwide. Like, the Japanese market just adores it. Huh, I wouldn't have guessed that. I know, I it's super weird. <laughs> But, I Wait, but that would mean it. that Spider-Man 3 is like the most grossing movie of all time. Because isn't Avengers Endgame the most grossing movie of all time? Maybe it's a popularity thing. I'm not 100% sure how it was ranked. I just know it's the most popular because of the overwhelming grouping of people in Japan who enjoy it. But well, have you actually it. watched it? Not in like 10 or whatever years. Oh, more than that. You're lucky you haven't rewatched them recently. They're not great. <laughs> watch videos about how they're not great. Lots, Lots of, of monsters, monsters, so I couldn't proceed. There's five big moles. I defeated the monsters. I think I'm bleeding ulcer from working too much. That'll get you. Uh, Apparently we didn't kill all the moles. Until this. I found a maze. Lots of monsters. <laughs> five big moles. And I got them removed. Because well, my doctor was worried about my skin care. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't I make that joke like 30 minutes ago? It's amazing. Well, okay. I, le I, I tried to let you. <laughs> oh, uh, we can get healed here, right? Well, we can oh, buy hold goods on. here. Welcome to the desert, everyone. <laughs> That's true. We, um, <laughs> no, uh, we can just show you. This. Oh, man. I gotta show you some of our thumbnails later. You're gonna hate me. <laughs> you, you mean love all of them? Uh, yeah, I, I I do stuff to toy with you now. It's really fun. Not like in a cruel way, but just like a why would you do that? Kind of <laughs> just to get that reaction out of you. We'll see. <laughs> it's all right. Well, while we heal up, um, yeah, we'll do next time. We will do that next time. Next maybe. time on uh, Earthbound's play or our Kamikaze and friends playthrough of Earthbound. While we talk to this purple boy, we're gonna become dermatologists. I already am. We're gonna we're gonna fight I'm, all the moles. That's I can't pretend to be a doctor. That's a felony. All right, goodbye, everyone. <laughs> wow, I didn't gotta hide. Hello, sir. I'm not a doctor. I uh, neither am I. Uh, Shake my no, no. hand. I didn't lick it. This guy.